Community Report today visits Kwara State, North Central Nigeria, and we are beginning from Ofa, the headquarters of Ofa local government area. It's also an ancient town where the Bolo Kingdom is centered. Let's get to meet the people as we take a tour of the town. Welcome, my name is Chris Elams. It takes about one hour to get to Ofa from the state capital, Ilori. And the descendants of this town take education seriously, which probably accounts for the number of higher institutions here, some of which include Federal Polytechnic, Ofa, Ofa University, Summit University, and much more. For a very long time, indigents of the town have been involved in trading within and outside of the country. And as they carry out their businesses, they also settle down quickly, which is why they are well spread. Ofa is headed by a traditional ruler known as the Olofa, who is ably assisted by four major kingmakers, followed by other sub chiefs. The Olofa is usually highly revered by the people who come to the palace to pay homage on worship days like Sundays and Fridays. Being a Muslim, the Olofa usually goes to the central mosque located just opposite the palace for prayers. And this is usually done with lots of fanfare. Went down with a prayer session. The Alofa is again seen off to the palace. For an ancient town such as Ofa, history runs deep and the Olofa takes us down that lane. Ofa, Ofa is, uh, is uh, uh, the head of Bala Kingdom. That spanned from here till uh, the boundary Iwo, Ibadan Axis. And it was founded by Olalomi Olofa Gogo uh, some 600 years ago. He was a hunter, and uh, he, we come from uh, Oyo. Uh, he was on this uh, trip. Uh, we settled a lot of places before finally settling here. And uh, we have uh, one unique thing, like uh, tomorrow you will see the way I dress. You know, from Olalami up to now, normally our kings here were always very short. And you know that time there is no car, so when you see people calling us, they'll say, "Yero king of Lofa Major." Yero king means uh, the feather of peacock. You see, at that time because there was no car, he would put the feather. You know, it's a beautiful this thing, the feather of peacock. He will put it on top of his cap, so he will look different wherever he walks to. You can notice him with that tall feather, beautiful, anywhere you see. And uh, out of the whole king in the whole southwest, or uh, not here, we are the only one that bears that name, Yero Kyolo Famajo. That is 
that's synonymous to that uh, that feather. And if you look around my palace, you will see those peacock everywhere. That's where we got that name from. Our dialect is very unique, and our dialect happens to be the dialect that is spoken in the old Oyo Kingdom. Lagos State speaks a bit of diluted like, like Yoruba language, but in Ofa here, when on Ofa man or Ofa woman speaks, you know. Even in Lagos State, where I am from, when we speak, then ah, okay, this guy, this guy is from the north. Not okay in Lagos means those of us from the north of Lagos State. So when I speak my Yoruba in Lagos State, my friends who are Lagosians, who are from Ijebu land, they make jest of me. They say, ah, this man is from Aroke, it's typical of a man. Because I will speak my dialect and they know the difference. Uh, if somebody says, uh, Kilon Shie, that is Lagos to nation. But in Ofa here, Kilon Shio, Kilon Shio, Maneo, Maneo, Maneo is Lagos. You know, why in Ofa here? Is it, Manofa, Manofa, when they say Manofa, when you put the fa there, you know that yes, this one is speaking the original Yoruba language. Christianity and Islam are the two major religions here. Whereas in some climes, this usually breeds division. But here in Ofa, they have learned to coexist. Of, uh, of uh, we have two major religions, that is uh, the Muslim and the Christian, and we live like brothers. Because um, in a compound, you find that the father is Muslim, the mother is Christian, and we live peacefully. We here, we don't uh, take religion, we don't allow religion to bring any, to divide us. You understand? In the morning, the mother goes to pray, the husband goes to church. Everybody will come back, we will do our business. So we, we interact together. You find that you will see a mosque here, the next building will be a church. Without uh, any problem, we stay together because we are all one. But uh, in Ofa here, the Muslims are more than the Christians. But we would never hinder anybody from doing whatever religion he or she wishes. In Ofa here, both the Christians and the Muslims contribute together and build it. And when it comes to churches too, we all contribute. Because you find that, that, like I told you, your father could be a Christian and the mother is a Muslim. So you will, will virtually donate in every part. So that uh, when the Christians, come, like uh, every Sunday, what you see here on Friday, you see the same on Sunday. Some of the earliest churches here include St. Mark's, built in the early 1900s, Ieroking, and the Christ African Church Cathedral.